I just need to get good. Well, frankly, I don't give a shit. Oh, does it hurt because it's the truth? You are just a baby. I'm tired of responding to Quattrum TV all the time. Instead, I'm just gonna respond to someone else who are lesser known. Yeah, I know I was a bit late for this topic, but I'm gonna be responding to Acer Thorn's hot take on Elden Ring titled Elden Ring Sucks and Here's Why. So yeah, yeah, pretty much like Quattrum TV, he'll pretty much copyright strike anyone that dares to criticize him. So I decided to edit as much video as I can in order for the sake of this response. Now, with that being said, let's have some fun. That's disturbing. Elden Ring sucks. What's up guys, Acer Thorn here, and today I'd like to give you my thoughts on this piece of shit game from a piece of shit game developer. And before anyone asks, no, this is not a joke video. This is not coming out on April 1st. I am 100% sincere when I say, without any sarcasm, that Elden Ring can suck my dick. I mean, no shit, today is not April Fool's Day. So, care to give a reason why you thought the game sucks? Oh, and spoiler alert, he didn't play the game. And, now, I know what all, any of you are thinking. I know what you're all thinking. How much of this game have you played? Well, I'm gonna be completely honest with you, and this is an objective fact. I have played precisely zero minutes and zero seconds of this bullshit game, and I still know it's bullshit. <laughs> you serious? That doesn't sound very professional for a game reviewer to say. Let me ask you a question. How can you review a game if you never actually played it? But seriously though, I want to know. How the actual hell can you review a game without playing it? It just doesn't make sense to me. I failed to understand why you thought it was a good idea to review a game that the ones that you never played. I'm sorry, it just felt really weird to me. And you know why? Well, the answer is very simple, and I know a lot of people are going to say that I need to play the game before I judge it. God damn right. But I don't, I, quite frankly, I disagree. And if you disagree with me, then get the hell off my channel. Oh, oh, for you. Acer Forn, I don't know if you know how the internet works, but when you put your opinion out there, especially on the internet, for example, YouTube, which is a public platform, anyone can criticize it and you're opinion is open to criticism when you put your opinion out there, so here's my criticism, take it or leave it, wherever you like to or not. Now here's the reason why I can safely say that I hate this game even though I've never played it. Because the community that From Software has cultivated is so toxic and vile that I automatically hate any game made by them. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard! Are you seriously suggesting that Elden Ring sucks now because how toxic the community was? Are you fucking serious? Now, if there are a few bad apples around the community, sure. But try to blame the rest of the community just because there are a few bad apples out there, it's just fucking asinine. That's like saying that Toby Fox, the creator of Undertale, 
who is responsible based around how toxic the fandom was. Now do you understand why the argument doesn't work because you cannot blame game developers based around the community being extremely toxic. And that's fucking bullshit. You cannot blame game developers for something they can't control. Their job is to make games, not fandoms. How about instead of blaming the community, how about you review the game as it was and try to play the game a little bit? Then maybe you wouldn't have that much backlash. But unfortunately, you chose to review a game without playing it, and that leaves a bad taste in my mouth, and it leaves sorts of bad faith. When I did my retrospective of Dark Souls way back when, I have gotten a, not a, a nothing but pure hatred, but that is the overwhelming majority of what I have gotten. Everyone, it, it, just about everybody and their mother, says that I just need to get good. Well, frankly, I don't give a shit. Okay, humor me here. If you really don't care about this, then maybe you shouldn't copyright struck everyone who are critical of you based around your bad take of Elden Ring if you really don't care about it. So, obviously, you do care. Everybody who thinks that I... who even If I make even a semantic mistake in my review, they will fucking tear me to shreds. Not physically, of course. Uh, they will tear me to shreds verbally and act like they're objectively justified. So, I, instead of just saying, I'm not going to even play the game and I'm not even going to pass judgment, no, fuck that. I'm going to pass judgment. I'm going to get involved. I'm going to actually plas judgment on this damn game simply because its fan base doesn't deserve to win here <laughs> so basically you're going to judge this game despite the fact that you never played the game in your entire life that makes sense to me they just don't... What they want is for me to just not talk about the game. So... Because they think that it, they think that by doing that, they'll be able to censor any negative opinions. So no, I'm going to give my opinion. I'm going to give my negative opinion, whether you like it or not. And actually, specifically because you don't like it. Look, here's the thing. Be fine. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. Okay, here's a little reality check. You wanna hear it? You wanna hear it, man? Nobody wants to erase your opinion. I mean, you can have an opinion about Elden Ring. Nobody says you couldn't. But you need to realize that just because you can have an opinion about Elden Ring doesn't mean they can't have a different opinion about your Elden Ring hot takes. I mean, this is reality. So, I find it really ironic that you telling someone that you're not going to censor his opinion. Meanwhile, you try to copyright struck someone else's negative opinion about you. How do you not see the irony? The use of words expressing something other than their literal intention. Now that is irony. My opinion is that Elden Ring is a fucking piece of shit game from a fucking piece of shit developer that cultivates a fucking piece of shit fan base. You said that already! Okay, now you're just repeating yourself, and I'm going to say this one last time before you get it. You cannot blame the game itself due to the toxic fan base. That's just not how it works. Jesus fucking Christ. So no, I don't care if you think my opinion is invalid. I don't care if you think I've played enough of the game. I don't care if you think I need to play the game. I don't need to play it. I already know what my opinion is. And if you got a problem with that, then I defy you 
to change my mind. For someone who doesn't care about the game, you did a very poor job at it. And the fact that you tried to basically copyright struck someone else's response of your shitty take of Elden Ring is pretty hypocritical to be honest. But sure, go off Queen. So, with that being said, I am Acer Thorn, and I will see you guys next time. Peace! Wow! That was shit! Well, just like that, the video ends. The fact that Acer Thorn did not see the irony about this situation is kind of pathetic. The fact that he basically made a shitty hot take of Elden Ring without actually playing the game makes it a terrible review, period. And for those of you who are still watching this video, do not harass anyone I mention in this video. It is completely unnecessary and it is not right. That just makes you no different than the individuals I talk about. So please, for the love of God, do not harass anyone I mention in this video. But, with that being said, thank you all for watching this video. If you do, give it a like, subscribe if you're new to my channel, follow me on social media, and hit the notification bells for my future videos. I make Let's Play content more often, that much is obvious. And sometimes I put commentaries and memes here and there, but I make Let's Plays for the most part on my main channel. But, with that being said guys, take care.